The information discussed in this PillCast episode are merely opinions and do not constitute formal policy or legal guidance of any kind. Hello, and welcome to another PillCast, the video series where we talk about federal procurement innovations in 10 minutes or less, we guarantee it. I'm Sandra Oliver-Schmidt with the Department of Homeland Security's Procurement Innovation Lab. And today, I'm joined by Christine Krauss, who is a contracting officer at the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency. She will share how she used a new electronic format to simplify and streamline how vendors respond to requests for information notices and how this new RFI format allowed her team to more quickly and effectively complete their market research. Welcome, Christine. Hello, thank you for having me. Now, RFIs are one of several market research techniques that promote early exchanges of information between government and industry. That's right. And actually the FAR states in 15201E that there's no required format for submission of RFIs. So it allows the government to be very innovative. So what format do you typically use for your RFIs? Typically I issue an RFI seeking input from vendors and I receive responses via email. Um, Oftentimes I receive a lot of emails, which can take several days to consolidate, analyze, and send to the program office, which can be very time consuming. Um, Often responses include information that we didn't necessarily ask for or need for that specific RFI as well. Now, I understand that with a recent RFI, you tried a new RFI format in an effort to simplify and streamline how vendors respond to the RFI and to allow your team to more effectively complete their market research. That's right. Instead of issuing an RFI asking vendors to email me their responses, I utilized Microsoft Forms application to create an RFI, which asked vendors the exact same information, but in a format that would make it easier to digest for the government and analyze and without burdening vendors as well. So how exactly did this tool make it easier for your team to analyze the RFI responses from vendors? So the tool actually consolidates the hard data for me, and it provides graphics, which make it easier to effectively analyze. For example, I could quickly identify how many of the vendors were small businesses. I could also see the contract vehicles that the various vendors held. Um, And then all of the written narrative responses were consolidated into one Microsoft Excel document, which made it easier to analyze and send to the program office without taking the time to consolidate it all myself. You know, I could see where if your team is able to more quickly analyze the data, more quickly complete their market research, chances are that solicitation could also be released more quickly, which benefits everyone. So what do you say we share the step-by-step process for creating an RFI? using the Microsoft Forms application. Okay, so step one is you're gonna open a Microsoft Edge web web browser and in the address bar, you'll type office.com. Step two, on the top left of the web page, you'll click the dotted box to open a drop-down menu. You'll have to be logged into Microsoft for this to appear. So if you're not logged in, in the upper right-hand corner, you can log in. Step three, on the drop down menu, select Microsoft Forms application. If you do not initially see this Forms application, you can click Explore All Apps and search for it, and then you'll click Open. Step four, at the top of the page, select the New Form icon. This will allow you to begin building your RFI questions. Step five, at the top, you'll click the text box that says Untitled Form and replace it with the title you want to give your RFI. After updating the form, you'll see a text box which will allow you to add a description for the Microsoft form. Step six, here is an example. The title of this Microsoft form is Request for Information on Available Ice Cream Flavors. The description says, 
This electronic submission form will allow vendors to submit ice cream flavor capabilities. Step seven, for the first RFI question, you'll click on the appropriate icon to indicate if answers should be provided via multiple choice, a text box, a rating, by a date, or you can use the drop down arrow to select additional options. Step eight, in the box at the top of the screen, you'll type in your desired question. You'll repeat this process for each question you wanna ask in your RFI. Step nine, after entering all of your RFI questions, the menu options shown on the top right of the page allow you to preview your RFI, change the style, or collect responses. Click on the collect responses icon. Step 10, select who is authorized to respond to your RFI. For an RFI, I suggest selecting the first bubble, which says anyone can respond. This will allow you to collect responses from people outside of your agency. And that's the end. So thank you, Christine, for sharing the step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the Microsoft Forms application to create an electronic RFI. But before we close, I'd like to ask, have you received any feedback from vendors who have responded to an RFI that uses the Microsoft Forms application? Yes, I actually reached out to vendors after the RFI process, and I received multiple positive responses. Um, one vendor stated that the use of the Microsoft Forms application proved to be more streamlined and efficient process for their company um, and said it also reduced the time invested in the overall process to submit an RFI. Um, another vendor noted that they hope to see more utilization of this uh, method in the future. That's fantastic. Happy to see that it benefits both industry and the government. Thank you so much for being here, Christine. That's all the time we have today. Please remember to like this video, to subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.